Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo and I'm actually just here to intro this next video. We're doing a series teaching espresso basics and you know the preparation of making a drink and calibration to our team of baristas here and we figured we would roll film on it so that they can go back and do refreshers. Click subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends. And without further ado, I give you Dave Dorsey to teach you about espresso basics. Hi guys, I'm Dave. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make or how to calibrate an espresso. So we're going to make three different kinds of espresso shots. Over extracted, under extracted, and just right, or our desired espresso extraction, which is right now, uh, we give you like basic parameters, which is 16 grams coffee, 25 seconds, and 50 milliliter uh, total volume. So there is no perfect recipe, but right now we are aiming for that recipe. Okay, let's start. There you go, some cup. Remove some grounds. Make sure that you have the exact amount of coffee all the time. Your margin for error is around 0.2 plus and minus. But if you're using a dosing cup, make sure that you have the exact amount of coffee. 16 grams coffee. to level the, the grounds so you have an even extraction okay make sure that there is no air pockets your coffee tamp it okay clean the sides so whenever you're, you're tamping make sure that you have a level ground inside your porta filter clean the sides so there won't be grounds on your coffee Seven milliliters in 29 seconds so our goal is 25 um, seconds extraction 60 milliliters total volume using 16 grams coffee so right now it's too fast as you can see okay it's a little bit pale okay, the, the creme on the top okay, this is uh, what we call under extracted coffee if you want to taste it, you may. So you have an idea how does your coffee taste if it's uh, flowing too fast, the extraction. It's gonna taste the coffee. Under extracted coffees usually taste like watery and high acidic coffee. The next extraction that we're gonna make is what we call an over extracted coffee. So to be able to do that, we have to um, adjust the grinder. Usually, when we adjust grinders or the grind setting, we're not using like five clicks to, or more. Usually, it's like one or two. We are now at grind size number 40. If you want to make the, the flow slower, okay, you have to make the number lower. So, if, you're, if now we're in 40, you're going to put it up to grind size number 30 so don't do that we're just showing you what's gonna happen if we move the grind size 
So whenever you adjust the grind size, you have to flush some coffee to your grinder to be able to get the exact grind size of your coffee. So with this grinder, roughly around 2 seconds or 10 grams of coffee. Grams coffee. Closing coffee here. And the grounds. So 25 seconds extraction, we only get 24 milliliters. Okay, this is what we call over extracted. It means it's flowing too slow, but we already reach our desired uh, extraction time. Okay, you can see it in the camera that it's a bit dark in color okay, and low in volume. Okay. Let's taste this coffee. So always taste your coffee whenever you're adjusting the grind size. So you, you'll be able to know the taste profile of that coffee in that exact uh, recipe or grind size. All right, so over extracted coffee like this one tastes more sugary, but the bitterness is too high and the uh, Acidity level is quite low, so if you're if you if you like this kind of coffee, why not? But it's not the perfect extraction for your coffee blend or the exact coffee that you're using. Basically, you are aiming if it's a, if it's an espresso, you are aiming for a balanced flavor of bitterness, sweetness, and acidity. So we're gonna make that extraction right now. Okay, so to be able to do that, we have to adjust. The grind size so a while ago we are at number 40 and then now we are at number 30 so to be able to do that uh, we have to make it on the middle so just basic put it at number 35 that's it and then flush some coffee here grind your coffee Sixteen grams coffee. is 50 milliliters okay total extraction so you can see this is your coffee it, uh, it's not too pale it's not too dark it's just right but we're not saying that this is the perfect extraction for your coffee we just set a parameter or a recipe that you can choose so whenever you you are um, calibrating espresso set first a set parameter or a flavor if you're if you're already uh, uh, well familiar with your coffee or you have a certain recipe that you are following and then you get your desired flavors on it never adjust uh, three parameters okay but just pick one usually it's the grind size so stick on your amount of coffee and then the volume okay just uh, find the right grind size 
for your coffee. Okay, it takes this coffee. It's good, it's well balanced espresso. Um, you got the right sweetness, okay, smooth finish, but not too bitter. Okay, thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. All right, so we hope that you guys enjoyed that, that you learned a lot watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do share it with your friends and your Facebook groups because this is meant to help you guys out. And we would appreciate that subscribe and we would appreciate you guys following us along on Instagram. We are at Honeycomb Manila on Instagram, but do also follow at Daily Drink Mag, which is our blog and YouTube stuff for all of the drinks related content that we do here in our studio, Honeycomb Manila. All right, we wish you guys good luck and good health. Wish you guys great coffee. Peace.